What's up, what's up, family? This is your girl, Stephanie, a.k.a. Edini Hastusa Uh Currently here doing the element reads. So, let's kind of get into it. I'm debating on whether I want to do element reads or, you know, break it down into zodiac signs. I think I'm going to stick with the element reads for now. Okay. Okay. All right. So earth signs. Let's see what's going on for the earth signs. What does our earth signs need to know for their highest good at this time? Divine forces of unconditional love, light, peace, both health prosperity and everything good lovely and wonderful what are the earth signs bringing to the collective what are the earth signs adding to the collective what are they going through what lessons are they learning that they can help the collective with all right so the first card out is the devil card so we might have a uh, some Capricorn energy might be dealing with a Capricorn. We have uh, the High Priestess here as well. We have the Temperance, uh, which is Sagittarius, so it might be some Sagittarius energy. So just getting all the cards out here. All right, bottom of the deck is the Ace of Swords. All right, so definitely uh, some clarity coming in. <laughs> Message from Spirit, communication from Spirit. All right, so we have charity, prayer, and contemplation here. Connect with heaven, ask, and you shall receive. Ace of Swords, right? So communication from spirit. Some uh, prayers may be answered. Maybe there's some prayers for inner strength as we do have um, Bridget here with inner strength. It says move back to wholeness. Recognize that you have the power. And last but not least, we have Melchizedek, which is coming out underneath the High Priestess um, for higher learning. Ace of Swords again. Uh, you have learned from experience. More inner study is now required to further progress. More inner study. You've learned from experience. So there's definitely has been some growth because we do have the world card here. Clarifying this devil card. Uh, bottom of the deck we have Dwal, um, Dwal, Cool. D J W A L K H U L Dharma unfolding. Dharma is like your life work, um, your mission in life. It says, remember that you are on a path. Take one step at a time to happiness. Beneath that was the life force. So, uh, Earth signs. I feel like you guys are definitely connecting to your life path, your your mission, your purpose here on life really uh, walking out the contract that you perhaps, not perhaps, the contract that you sign, like, you know, there's belief that before we incarnate here on earth, we created, you know, our life, we wrote out our life path, you know, on the contract. This is what we're going to, coming back to earth to accomplish, to, to do, to fix, right? So I feel like there's been, there's communication Uh, via spirit because you're awakening more to the place where you can communicate with your spirit guides and get the downloads and the guidance that you need I feel like a lot of the distractions that once held you back a lot of the obstacles that blocked your communication from spirit all of some of that has been a lot or a lot of it has been broken down uh, with the world card here devil 
card clarified by the world card that's you know the devil card is the illusions uh toxicity addictions um all of that that cycle has ended with the world card and so you have you're transitioning into the new you with the five of wands here uh in the princess of pentacles you are coming into wholeness within yourself like i said we go through many initiations so i mean it's it's a cycle and each time like the world card we are completed this uh, the old cycle and now we're shifting into a new paradigm we're operating at a new frequency because the frequency has shifted you know um just like the message of my last reading that i did the frequency there has been a frequency shift and you are calibrate you are now calibrated into this new energy that's the reason why with the last reading the main character energy for all of the uh, elements were was uh, a state of reflection introspection um and just kind of integrating all of the new things all of the new lessons that you've learned into your life so that you can use it moving forward you know you are you have become a whole new you you are becoming a whole new you you are shifting so the earth signs you are showing people how to uh integrate this new energy that mother earth is bringing forth with this frequency shift this frequency elevation with the high priestess clarified by the ace of wands there's a passionate new opportunity, and so there's passionate new opportunity. It's pa you have this new burst of passion, of inspiration here, um, because the blockages has been removed here with the moon card. Like what was hidden has been revealed. You know your inner strength has been revealed. The you have you the experiences that you've been through. You saw how the power of prayer and your you setting your intentions your contemplation you know focusing on what it is that you want setting those intentions and how it is manifesting you know so that brings you now to a more confident energy within yourself um with the two of pentacles being clarified by the queen of wands you're in the moment you're living more in the moment in the now because you know the two of pentacles can be again being too caught up in the past and too worried about the future we need to be centered we need to be in the present because the present is where you heal the past and where you create the future and so you are understanding that now with the prayer and contemplation you are you have centered yourself and you're present in the present moment and while you're in that present moment you set the intention to just feel the love of heaven to feel the love to just to be to just feel within self all right and be present that way you can connect and you can speak to your ancestors and your guardian angels and that has created this confidence within you this war the queen of wands is a warrior tris you know a, a warrior queen you know so you are pat and very passionate you're very passionate about this uh new leaf on life that you have now that you have overcome the addictions you've overcome the toxicity that uh was plaguing you and so now you're in this new energy um you may have a lot of people around you with this five of wands a lot of some people around you who um or realizing and noticing the change and you know they're bringing probably drama to you and, and all other things because they cannot take advantage of you like you like they used to you're the queen of wands now like you will snap back you will, you know you know clap back on their ass if people come at you crazy or say something crazy to you you know what I'm saying you're not in that old addiction of people pleasing anymore with the world card and the devil card that cycle has ended you know what i'm saying you are stepping fully in your power you know and so and at the same time with this five of ones here and the clapping back it's like you can clap back if you want to but i feel like you've even grown and evolved past that 
you know, to the point where, you know, if people try to start shit with you, your clarity, your perception is so clear that you already see the devil coming, you know, before they make their appearance. Like you already feel and already know that they're coming. And so in that, you you in that energy of forgive them for they know not what they do. You see how people are being used by the enemy, by the devil, if you want to call it that. Uh, being used by the devil. I don't even want to like to say that because it's not the devil. You know, the devil is nothing but test. You know, the devil does nothing but bring, bring you tests to see if you're going to act in integrity. And it's up to you to choose how you're going to respond. You know, are you going to choose to be low down and, and, and undercut to get what you want? Or are you going to act in integrity and, you know, take accountability for what's going on instead of trying to, you know, push things off on someone else? Like before people were trying to push things off on you or make you feel like you were the bad guy. But spirit wants you to remain calm, tap into that inner strength of you know, seeing things from a higher perspective. Forgive them for they know not what they do. Don't allow them to draw you into their low vibrational energy with the high priest that's in the uh, Ace of Wands. Like, you know that you are set for a higher path. So don't allow these people to come in to distract you. Again, this Dharma unfolding, this truth is unfolding. The victory, you have the victory. There's no need for you to have to, to engage in um, arguments or engage in petty um, actions of other people. They, people may do little things to try to tick you off, but, you know, let it roll off your back like water off a duck's back. And I feel like that's what, it, what it's going to do because you tapped into your, your inner strength, your wholeness. You don't need other people to validate you. Recognize that you have the power. You have the power to to dictate how other people's actions will affect you. You know, you know, you are operating in faith. You know, so no matter, you know, what obstacles are put in your way, you know that you will overcome it. No matter what it looks like, um, it may, things may not be as fruitful as you would want them to be. But you got to understand that you're going through a deep transformation at this time. A deep transformation. You get, you, you're getting a software update. And just like the previous reading, when your phone goes through a software update, it has to shut down. Um, so that, you know, all, all of it can, you know, calibrate to this new software. And that's what your body is doing. Your body's going through an update. And so you may not feel like you're, you are as connected with spirit per the last reading. You know, you may not feel like you are as connected. But once everything settles down, that's why the temperance here, because the temperance also represents patience. You need to just be patient with yourself during this time. Find the inner, inner strength to just be patient at this time. Because we do have the four of pentacles and the prince of swords here. So you're definitely feeling like, you know, the opportunities maybe not coming in the way that you would want, that you thought they were going to come. Just give it some time. It's the spirit temperance card, that spirit in the background whipping up the perfect potion to bring you the answers to your prayers and the contemplations. They, they are listening. They heard you and they are working on it for you. So don't get too hasty and start trying to make moves um, and, and make any, you know, huge decisions right now with this moon card. There's a lot of haziness still going on. There's a lot of work still finalizing at this time. So don't make any uh, big decisions. You Yes, you have this burst and ball of inspiration, but just... Take your time because there's still more learning. It's just, like it says here with the higher learning. You're still learning. You're still getting information with this Ace of Wands here. Spirit is still downloading you with the with your new mission on this new level as, you know, you have elevated. You have been initiated to a higher paradigm with the world card here. 
So there's still some clarity that needs to be had with the Ace of Swords bottom of the deck um, here of the overall uh, message for this reading. There's still information that's being downloaded. The Dharma is still unfolding, right? So we just take one step at a time with the Temperance card. Be patient. Take one step at a time because the Temperance card is clarified by the Six of Wands, which is victory. A, a hand, surrender. Just be in the energy of surrender right now. Your ancestors are taking care of everything for you. So just be patient. Just be mindful. Sense your energy. Be present at all times. And just allow yourself to marinate in this beautiful creative energy. You know, do what you can. You know, continue to write out your plans. Uh, continue to visualize your plans continue to you know visualize pray and continue to set your intentions because it's being heard even the more now that you're that that you have been upgraded and that you have this update that's in the process right now you may not feel like you're being heard but you are so just keep going keep pressing and everything will unfold in due timing all right, so star man underneath the the moon card, you're manifesting, you know, um, you're being things are being cleared out, and you're manifesting, and it's being manifested your movement onto calmer waters. Exactly, Princess of Swords and the Queen of Swords. So right now you might be at the Princess of Swords energy. You know, that page energy as you're just entering onto this new cycle with the world card. But like I say, right after the Princess of, Princess of Swords was the Queen of Swords. And that's mastery, right? That's you learning from the experience mastering uh, your communication, mastering this new energy, and having the sight that you need to cut out those things that are no longer serving you. Uh, the Queen of Swords is very wise, uh, very smart, intelligent, mind over heart, not too emotional when she's make she's not emotional at all when she makes decision it's a very uh, emotionally intelligent decision that she makes and so i feel like spirit is saying right now if you make any decisions it'll be from an emotional space because of all of the things that you may not even notice may, that may be you know uh coming at you and and uh, providing this competition and conflict or whatever you know so, don't make any big decisions right now, if you, if you can. Don't make any big decisions right now. Just kind of be in the energy of receiving prayer, contemplation, and knowing and having faith in your power and in your ability to be able to move when the time is right. Okay, so I kind of want to get more clarity on this Four of Pentacles, Prince of Swords energy. Give me more clarity on the Four of Pentacles, Prince of Swords, please, Spirit. One more time. And we're going to pull Six of Swords. So you may be in this lack mentality with the Four of Pentacles. But Spirit is saying, there's an opportunity that's coming. You see it. You feel it with your intuition. That's going to move you on to calmer waters and put you in the energy of what you've been working to manifest um, all this time. Everything is going to be revealed to you. And you're going to know what steps you need to take to, you know, learn what you need to learn as it says more inner study is now required to further the progress. Whatever lessons that you need to learn, Prince of Swords, is going to come to you. 
but you have to get out of this lack mentality. Make sure that you don't resort back to that old cycle of a lack mentality. Don't allow the out of circumstances or people around you to make you feel like you're in a lack mentality. You know, if you're whatever your your goal is or your dream is or your mission is, um, if it's a business, if there's other people doing it, don't allow the people to be like, well, there's so many people doing it. You won't be successful. At you keep going. You do you because don't nobody have what you have. You are unique and you're special in your own right. And there's enough money out here for everybody. So you keep going. You keep doing you no matter how many people, how saturated the market may be. You keep going. You keep going. And keep pushing. Because the wheat will be separated separated from the shaft. Right? So if somebody try to take your idea or anything like that, it's okay temperance know that you will be victorious in the end you're playing chess not checkers you are in for the long you're playing the long game okay so if anybody try to steal your idea that's a short that's short game mentality you know what i'm saying because they're not going to have the inspiration that they need to keep that thing going but you will right because you're you have this ace of swords you have the clarity the perception you have the victory given to you from source from spirit from god this is your life path whatever gifts you have or talents that you have are all part of your life path you know um and i see amazon just pulled up and i got uh i had ordered a solar plexus chakra bowl so i'm finna pause this and then we're going to get back on here. I'm going to get back on here with my bowl because, because the solar plexus deals with confidence. You know what I'm saying? So if there's anything that you need to pray for with this prayer and contemplation, with the inner strength, you know, pray for that inner strength to be patient and to be still. And to gain that higher learning, to get that, to give, bring that confidence, queen of swords, even the more. So we're going to do a small little meditation. I'm going to hit the bowl and we're just going to send that bright yellow vibrant energy to our solar plexus chakra. Excuse me, to infuse us, excuse me, with confidence, with faith, with strength, and whatever it is that we need to, to push us forward in our what it says here one step at a time take one step at a time to happiness to lead us to that to you know as to what step we need to take next to our happiness right so we're just going to set that intention so i'm going to pause it all right so here is the box so i guess we're doing an unboxing video as well I'm excited I'm excited just this surge of excitement just kind of went through my body right. it's so pretty it's so pretty Mallet. All right. So I also have um, 
already have a root chakra bowl as well. So we can uh, do some work with both of them. Put my sage over there. So let's do some uh, root chakra and uh, solar plexus work. Kind of address those lower chakras. That was real sweet. Ooh, that was sweet. popping and cracking be empowered be grounded be present know that you you are powerful what it says here recognize that you have the power inner strength recognize that you are whole Move back to wholeness. Recognize that you have the power and the strength to overcome whatever obstacles that may be standing in your way. There, there are no more obstacles standing in your way with the devil card clarified by the world card there are no more obstacles You are still operating in a lack mentality somewhere, some way, some shape, in some, in some form or fashion. But you're moving past that with the Prince of Swords, Six of Swords. You're manifesting. 
your God self, your God energy, that God awakening with this Two of Cups here. Devil card and the world card. That's the hermit card and the king of swords. Again, ten of cups, bottom of the deck, bliss, happiness. So again, as you are as your dharma is unfolding, as your life mission and your life purpose is becoming more clear to you, separate yourself from any and all distractions, whether it's people, places, or things, while your ancestors are in the background working up victory and justice for you, clearing out any blockages, because there's going to be a burst of inspiration burst of uh, heightened, heightened intuition. The Four of Pentacles is that blocked energy is being removed. High Priestess, Ace of Wands. Three of Pentacles. That's creation card and then the uh, the fool card taking that leap of faith believing in that God energy that is within you getting your mind body and spirit on one accord there's going to be a burst of inspiration that's going to align your mind body and spirit that's going to help you to take that leap of faith past the you know the fear of the unknown past that lack mentality Princess of Wands. It's that idea of, and that inspiration, that creativity. It's going to open up to you. So, I love you all. And until next time, peace.